Hello beautiful and resourceful teachers. My name is Shayla and I'd like to welcome you to another session of Teacher Tutorial with Shayla. Today we're going to look at how we are going to import our Bitmoji Classroom into Microsoft Teams. So this is my Bitmoji Classroom that I created on Google Slides. It was pretty easy. If you want to learn how I created this Bitmoji Classroom, check out this video posted above. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So we're going to go to File and um, we want to publish our Bitmoji um, Classroom to the web. Now once we publish it, publish this to the web, of course this is going to be visible to persons with the link. And so we can go ahead and toggle on start slideshow as soon as the player loads. And so by default, every three seconds, the slides are going to move. I want to change it to say 10 seconds. Then I want to select um, start the slideshow and I want to copy the link. Okay. So once we're done copying the link, we're pretty good. Of course, it is published. We can go ahead and close it out. And now we want to open up our Microsoft Teams. So when we get to Teams, we want to click plus button where we go ahead and add a tab and we want to add website. So when we go to website, we can say Bitmoji Classroom and we are going to paste our link right where it says paste URL and we're going to uncheck post to the channel. Um, about this tab okay and then we can go ahead and select save so once that is done you're going to see that our bitmoji um, classroom shows up and all of the hyperlinks that we've placed in the classroom they work there you have it so the students can still click on to the links and it's going to take them back to everything that we linked into the bitmoji classroom so let's go back to microsoft um teams and then you can go back and the video plays fine hey everyone the song of the day they can click on it just click okay and it takes them to every single hyperlink that was created in the interactive bitmoji classroom something else that i want to show you okay so you see here that i have about three slides Let's say I were to go back to my original Bitmoji slide, okay, the classroom, and I wanted to add some more information, okay? So here I can say, I can change this, and I want to tell the students, prepare for quiz one, and then I want to tell them, um, practice page 30 and I'm done. You will notice that after I updated my Google Slides, I was able to go to Microsoft Teams and it updated as well. Now let's say you were having some issues and you found that yours didn't update. You can go ahead and click where it would say if your site isn't loading correctly, click here. And then you could always reload your tab and it would show you any new changes that was made to your um, Bitmoji Classroom. Always remember that this is published to the web. So, so any changes that you make onto these slides, the students are going to see. Well, teachers, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and share this with all of your teacher friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and definitely leave a comment below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Teachers, remember that you are awesome, you're great, and you're loved. Continue to have a great week.